So yeah, don't leave babies alone with potato peelers. <laughs> Lesson learned. Oh. Welcome oh. to Marty oh. and Michael, episode number four, Skin? Number yeah, four? No, 44 all up, but yeah, number four for number season four two. Four for season two, all right? My God, this we year is going tired. so quickly. And yeah, it's been uh, it's been a bit of a stress. It's been a bit stressy today. So much shit going on. And you'll understand why next Monday. By the time <coughs> by the time you this podcast comes out next Monday, there'll also be a video out next Monday. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay? But then you'll see why it's been it's been it's it's a stressful time at the moment. We've got a lot going on. Plus, pretty sure I've got like the flu or the coronavirus or something. It's been weird, fevers and like fatigue and coughing and oh man, it's just been fucked. It always happens at the worst times. On this day, in 2001, an 11-year-old Michael finally stopped a breastfeeding from his mother. Oh, there you go. Well, I was 11. On this day, there you go. Fuck, I wish I was still there. On this day in 1902, emu necks were used as the first skipping ropes ever in Australia. Imagine doing that Emu-nex. with a live one. One that had one that was way too big. Well, I think that they chopped the head off and chopped the body off and then just used the necks as ropes. Uh, wow, that's fucking ingenious. Yeah, very, very inventive. On this day in 1953, the first breast enlargement surgery happened and the surgeons used turtle shells as the implants. Oh, man, they would suck to grab. Uh, I don't know. You could shatter them if you hit them hard yeah, enough. you could punch hard. You could punch really hard. It's you- like... It'd be internal bleeding. You'd fuck a, them up and your your knuckles. If I was a girl, I'd sort of want maybe something hard like that because fake boobs don't feel that real anyway. And then if you get turtle shells, it's like it's protection. You have a shield on your chest. Speaking of tits with fake chicks. <laughs> <laughs> I've started watching Married at First Sight. Yeah. What's the one I hate? What's her name? The man? Not the, the woman? Hayley. Hayley. Fucking psycho bitch. And her tits are fucked. <laughs> Have you seen them? <laughs> yeah. They're like you? out here. And she, they're fake ones. She got it professionally done. She paid money for these fucking tumors, benign tumors. <laughs> oh. And they look fucked. And her personality is even worse. Yeah, she's a bit of a... Uh... Dude, I, 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 I realize what you mean about this show. It's so good. It's easy, cringe watching. Connie's starting to shit me too for being a clingy little fucking s- s- parasite that's got no friends. Yeah, man, at first sight, it's good shit. Yeah, it's get into shit. it. The Australian season seven. And they people are like, get oh, paid to say that either. Oh, you watch that trash and they go, shut up. Okay, it's reality TV. It's 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 entertaining. Otherwise, oh, it is. I can see that side of yeah. their argument, but it, it yeah, yeah, it's not, it's not. You're not learning, but it's just if you if you look, it's it's the human reaction is very very entertaining. You throw a human in a really unique scenario. You it's you can't look away. It's like watching a car crash. You just can't look away. If you're walking down the street and you see two people having a fucking huge domestic argument, everyone would like to stop and watch. Mm. Everyone would. And everyone does. A lot of people look over... Reality TV is just like a TV show where people are just fucking arguing. That's why it's so entertaining. Don't tell me it's not entertaining. It is. And fuck you, Haley and Connie. But speaking of Married at First Sight... Guess you got asked to go on Married at First Sight a couple seasons ago. Yeah, I did. The producers emailed me and said, um, hey, we're from a TV show in Australia. Can you call us? And then I called and it turns out it was Ma- the maths producers. This was like the end of 2018 though. So, it was a while ago. We were, had only just sort of really started. Our, fa- our, f- our page was only like 300K and it was eight weeks. I would have had to go on film and um, you get an allowance of 800 bucks a week. But I ended up just turning it down because you don't want to get pigeonholed as like a maths person. Yeah. You can't ever get away from that. And then you're just known as the, you know, as the maths person. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's, yeah, so to speak. Yeah, hmm. exactly. <laughs> you, oh, man, I would have watched it though. I would have fucking loved to have seen you on that show, dude. You would have... Yeah, they would have made you out to look like an actual psychopath. Yeah, I would have just barely spoken. <laughs> I reckon at the wedding, I envisioned like it's at the beach and during the ceremony, you just turn around and start walking off into the water, yeah. but never come out. And I would have just like <laughs> shaved my head except for two spiked up bits of hair and just had wild, crazy eyes. And yeah. 
and just I would have stained my teeth really dark yellow oh. and just try to be and just grow my fingernails and my toenails. <laughs> you would have tried to be me. Yeah, I just would have looked really, really sickening. Oh, fuck. I wish I saw that. Big brother. Is that coming about still? Yeah, apparently. I don't know. Fuck. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't do that show either. We'll probably get pigeonholed. Next segment, well, first segment, really, this week, has been renamed to... <laughs> I love the ending. That and basically, we'll just be answering questions that you guys have sent in via Instagram. God, that really tested my voice, man. That really tested my voice. Don't do that again. Ever since the coronavirus, man. Wow. All right. By the way, this for this uh, episode this week, we, we've cut a science experiment and we're adding a new uh, segment. See how it goes. See how you like it. Don't forget to let us know in the comments which one you like the most. And also, this podcast is sponsored by our website, the University of Markle. So, go and register and you get unseen content hours and hours of unseen content for five us dollars a month two two brand new videos a week that is what's funding all of this all right www.universityofmarkle.com i'm pretty sure that's it yeah but markle's with e-a-l not a-e-l the link is in our instagram in the top in the uh in our bio as well and we could probably put it in fucking this youtube yeah you know what we will we will. If we don't forget. On All to right, the questions. questions. All right. First question is from Wogboy1206. Bitch. What's ringworms? So, I think he's asking what, why we always use the word ringworm. Great question. Um, it's a substitute word that we invented when we were uh, like teenagers. We'd be like, we'd, you know, when you're like trying to tell someone something and you forget the word and you're like, oh, you know, the fucking, uh, you know, the the ringworm, the ringworm. And that sort of, that's the substitute word that we used. For everything. And then people would would understand. People would understand what we meant. You know what I mean? So, like all our friends, friends of friends sort of understood. We'd start saying it, then everyone caught on to it. So, we'd be just half of our fucking vocabulary was ringworm this, ringworm that. But we would understand what we were trying to say by replacing it with ringworm. Plus, we were infested with ringworms, like the actual skin disease. And it's a beautiful word. It sounds nice. Yeah, it is. It makes a, me giggle. Yeah, it those two like words. smile to my face. Those two words separately are good, but you put them together and it's like, that's a good, good word. It's like, hence like on our personal Instagrams, it's ringworm Marty and ringworm Michael. Ring, like asshole and worm, like a gross parasite. Mm-hmm. Put them together, asshole parasite. Yeah. And that's us. Asshole parasites. A R S E. Asshole parasite is like the scientific technical name of a ringworm. It's yeah. It's fucking. It's the best word ever. Get it tattooed on your kids. It's art. All right. Next question is from J underscore Dan thirty four. Why aren't you guys the best yet? And is Marty and Marty is Carl still in your dream? <sighs> um, we're getting back to the best slowly but surely. Okay. Um. This, I don't know if we're going to get any closer to being the best today, this week, but um, it takes time. Like, it takes time to get back up to the best. Like, this is only our fourth episode back. You know, it takes a bit of practice, usually some drugs and alcohol help. And we're trying to stop better. that during the week. Yeah. So, um, we're going to film on a Sunday again in two weeks and we'll get, we'll try and pump out like three podcasts and we'll get a bit slopped. Yeah. A bit sloppy, slopped. So, hopefully... Uh, we'll be back to the best. <laughs> and Carl is still in my dreams. He's always in my dreams. I see him when I'm awake. I see him when I'm sleeping. I see him when I'm... He's everywhere. He's in the. He's constantly in my peripheral vision. Walking closer and then I look over and he's gone. It could be schizophrenia. I'm not sure. Next question. All right. This one's from Lachlan Filmer, our mate. He's asked... For Ringworm Michael. See, he uses my fucking personal tag. He knows. Lachlan understands Ringworm. How painful was it to step on those thumbtacks as soon as you woke up? So, this is from an old video, I guess, from maybe when you woke me up. Yeah. And like the worst ways to wake up. Yeah, it sucks. It's like um, if you ever put a staple into your body, 
Well, surely everyone can relate to that. It's like a it's like a needle, like a little needle. I reckon their thumbtacks are far worse mm. than staples, especially on your foot because yeah. the pressure of standing on it is like, goes all the way in. Also, there's your feet are so sensitive. Like there's so many nerve endings and shit in the feet, so that would have really hurt. So I did a good job. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, yeah, definitely, definitely not fun, Lachlan. What do you reckon out of ten? Like at eight? Oh, nine. nine. Yes. I'd say eight originally, but then after you pull them out and you sort of slap your foot a bit, it's back to like a five. Hmm. All right. This one's from Juan Pivaz. And he's asked, why does Michael shout funny? Yeah. Why do you? I don't know. Is this how I yell? Have a yell for us? Ah! Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is funny. It's just like static, it sounds like to me. My, my brain rumbles in my head when I do it. Ah! You are, yeah, he is grindy. Matt? Can you do high pitched screams, Matthew from oh, Wholesome? I okay. It was you. You've just made so many That was a pterodactyl. Can you do that? I'm not going to try. I'm sick. I think I have to pull in to do that. Yeah, same. Oh. <coughs> yeah, cost. Smoking's made it harder. Mm. But um, I can't scream out with high pitch. <laughs> That's, That's tricky. That's tricky. We're being trick. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Next one's from Tronicles underscore 87. What has been your favorite insult you have ever given to someone? Oh, man. Um, Michael, you've, you've really appreciated some of the insults you've given to people. <laughs> I've broken. Yeah. I've seen Michael really hurt some feelings. Oh, for good reason. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, I'm good with words. Um, fuck, best insult. <laughs> oh, man. It's so hard to think of one. There's been so many. There's been so many good calls over the years. <laughs> but I remember that we've had like arguments with some lads at a bar once and one guy didn't like us kissing or some shit like that. And he had a... And sorry for anyone who does have a lazy eye. Um... <laughs> But yeah, he had a lazy eye and I just said, no matter how much we kiss, it's never going to fix your lazy eye. And he, yeah, he snapped. Uh, what a terribly confusing story for everyone at home to hear. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, true. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just always look at their face and try and hack into what you think they're self-conscious about. And that will make him snap. Yeah. And insulting someone's physical appearance um, or sort of searching with words to try and find what they're insecure about. You know, that's that's usually pretty pretty devastating. Like if someone, you know, is a bit overweight or if someone has like a receding hairline or a big nose or something like that, you can sort of, you know, pinpoint that because a physical appearance feature is something you can't really change. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? And don't do this unless they're fucking assholes. And a lot of the people we've come about have been, yeah, are very unappreciative of what we do. And then, yeah, the next minute we're in a fight. <laughs> but yeah, question. peace and love. All right, next one is from Delaney Hale. That's strange. That's hard, hard to read and pronounce. And she has asked, how does it feel to get hurt so many times now? It's getting, I'm, it's getting old. I'm going to be real with you guys. It's getting old. The pain. If you don't do it for a while, it's like anything. Like ripping a toenail off right now sounds a bit scary. And plus, we just like, we're, it's, it's, it takes longer to recover now. Like it used to be three years ago, it'd be okay to walk around with a few bruises and shit. But now, like, yeah, I'm sore and stiff. It's getting harder to recover. And um, yeah, it's just like... Yeah, we've been in heaps of fucking... Massages help too. Yeah, mas- fucking massages do help. But like now we're trying to do gym heaps. It's like your body's... Yeah, it's it's taking its toll and, and you're always sore. And you're constantly having to... It's more the psychological thing. If you're, we're doing something new that we haven't done to ourselves before... Scary. All the <clears throat> potential consequences run through your head. <laughs> and it's more of a psychological pain until it's done and then after you're like oh it wasn't so bad and then the next time around it's fine but so if it's something that we've done it's okay but if it's 
a new thing, then yeah, there's always a little bit of fear. Mm. Yeah, like the pineapple, I'd never been hit with that. That was frightening. But yeah. it, it was okay in the end. Everything always works out. Next question. Lockie underscore bubbles has asked, if you had to stick a cactus up your ass or urethra, which would you choose and why? Ass, easily. Assholes much bigger, can be stretched to a far larger diameter. My urethra is maybe like, I don't know, a millimeter. Asshole, I reckon I could stretch it to like, what's that, 10 centimeters? You can, yeah. 10 centimeters round. No, so I reckon- I reckon I could squeeze a cactus in so there's room between the sides of my intestines. Yeah, but then- And the cactus- As soon as you let go of pulling it out, it would- Snap yeah, yeah, forward, yep. and then uh, I, yeah, and then and then to pull it out, I'll just part my cheeks again, and then just pull it out. So you'd part it so wide again that the spikes would stay well, the in. spikes would go in. It would they come in straight, so you yeah, wouldn't exactly. if you pushed they wouldn't it in, off. they wouldn't snap off. Exactly. And then I'd pull oh. them back out and then remove it. Done. No worries. I'll do that tomorrow. Yeah, I'd do the ass too. I couldn't. Yeah, shoving a cactus up your dick hole would be very it's, difficult. That's a very easy question. It's a great website video. Mm. Speaking of website, go and register. Link in the description. Yeah. Sorry. This is the last question from Nathan, Nathan Land. Oh, uh, 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 yeah. And uh, he's asked if you could spit shit, like literally shoot poo from your mouth, who would be the top five targets? Judge, Judge Judy. Judy. That's about it. Judge Judy. Fucking, what's her name? Connie from Married at First Sight. Yo, oh, you're never going to be happy. If she, you- would be de- she would be devastated if you spat shit in her face. And what's the other one I had? I can see that really having a really detrimental effect on her life. Oh, yeah. She, she fucking, you have already see her timbers. And, yeah, anyway. Um, timbers is a cross between timid and tremors. tremors. Yeah, yeah. A timid tremor. Yeah, a timid mm-hmm. tremor. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and the other girl, whatever, the bolt-ons that look like eggshells. Uh, Hayley. No, sorry, tortoise shells. Uh, Hayley. Yeah, her, I t- yeah. So, her, there's three for me. Just Judge Judy. I would just really concentrate on Judge Judy. I don't need five targets. I just need one primary target. And I'd just, I'd hound her. If I could spit shit, I'd get close. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck shit, it's such a, it, it's even worse than throwing actual shit. If it comes out of your mouth, you're spitting and shitting. It's quite a superpower because no one would fucking come near you. I mean, if pe- people wouldn't, like, people wouldn't even attack you because if they came near you, you could just spit shit at them. Yeah. Well, yeah. You Unless could- they wore goggles and a face mask and then you're fucked. Yeah, but no one wants any shit on them ever, except for me. Yeah, Michael's going to do a video for the website. Uh, Michael's beauty routine where he's going to do a dog shit face mask and, and I want to think of other things put in the comments like other fucking well, uh, six like things like a detox drink like I'm thinking like a glass of piss with some ice in it and maybe some mint no I wanted to do it more <laughs> like <laughs> like fuck like so the camera's on my face like the chick's still on you know Instagram and YouTube and then you go through all the products and it goes from no makeup to heaps of makeup. Oh, yeah. Cake we could, face. Yeah, we could use, instead of makeup, we could use things that you use, like dirt as foundation. Yeah, then like Bosley shit. Make like some, we got to try and incorporate piss in there, but what, maybe piss, I don't know. You can put like to, to like make your hair easier to, you know, style, we could put olive oil in it. Yeah, yep. And then, well, like, what's something for your lips? So lipstick you don't use normally, but then. What's like something you could replace it with? Dead like, worms. Dead worms and sort of smush them into a little ball and then you could put that all over your mouth. What about like beef mints? Is that gross? Yep. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, I reckon, see, that video would be easy for me. So, oh, But that's you, the sort of shit that you're going to get on the website. Because if we posted that to social media, guess what? Guess what? Cops. Cops are, cops are at our house now and it's your fault. Um, all right. Moving on to the next segment. Uh, it's been renamed... <laughs> basically there's a segment where it's the PO unboxing so you fucking dog send a shit now PO box and we fucking open this shit right here live right here live on set the first one is a letter a letter from Wisconsin dust storm it says on the back let's have a fucking read of this dog eh 
Oh, fuck. Oh. oh. The United States of America, $1 million. Fucking hell. Fucking hell is dude. this real? This is real. Do I have it? It actually is fucking real. Holy shit. I didn't even realize I had a million dollar note. Someone's just sent us a million dollars. Thank you. Holy What's shit. It must be like super rich. It doesn't say their name on it. It just says Eminem and Wisconsin Dust Storm. All right. This person has written a little net or a little, <coughs> little note and it says, as scientists, you two are scholars. As pranksters, you two are trollers. But we wish you the best as you continue your quest towards making one million dollars. Oh, I want to kiss him. That's beautiful. That's going right there. That's going right there yeah, in front of the hot. cock. This is going around Jesus. We'll take that to the bank. Let's go straight to the bank tomorrow. In between Jesus and Buddha. All right, right here. Uh, Urban Dictionary has um, a comment about the Wisconsin dust storm. Dust storm, storm you're yeah, gone. They say it is the act of putting Nesquik powder on your asshole and farting into your significant other's face while they go down on you. That's, that sounds like Whoa. it would probably be delicious. Whoa! Wisconsin dust. Oh, there'd be like this little nice sugary taste, the yeah. chocolate, and then it would just be this shit smelling fucking terrible scent. <laughs> oh, that's let's try that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll call my girlfriend and tell her to pick up some... Nesquik on the way yeah. I'll, I'll do Milo and we'll see which one's better. All right, here we have oh, more adult nappies. Thanks, guys. When's the last time you pissed yourself? Wasn't that for like the one million? Oh, yeah. Well, you said we're doing like a one, one million photo shoot and I've got to dress up as a baby. Yeah, yeah. We're having a photo shoot tomorrow, actually, where Michael's dressing as a baby. So they'll come fucking <laughs> right in handy, brother. <laughs> Fuck yeah, brother. <laughs> Thank Ooh. you for the adult nappies. That's lovely. All right, this parcel is from Matilde Malave from Miami, Florida. She spent $23.50 on posting that. Matilda, you are a, you're a Thank fucking you. legend. And all the way from Florida or America. Isn't that crazy? Damn. The people all over the world are listening to us talk fucking absolute nonsense in your lounge room every week <laughs> for as cheap as chips. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see what we got here. Right? <laughs> Ooh. All right. Oh, someone has sent us their hair. Oh, yes. And we did say that we would consume everything sent to us. I'll have a strand. Smell good? It smells like hair. It smells like Matilda. All right. She's also written a little note here. <clears throat> what I love about you today. Aww. So it's this. I don't know if you guys can see it. If you're listening on Spotify, suck shit. I can't really explain this, but it's just a Clean note. Hair? And it's like a, a paper with all this. Um, it's like you, you fill in the blanks, basically. So the first one says, I'm kind of in love with your lovely hair, Michael. Oh, look, the hair in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Michael is now eating your fucking hair, Matilda. I bet you weren't expecting that. <laughs> then I will consume this lolly. <laughs> Oh, oh, I'll eat the lolly, you eat that, and that way we're even. Uh, oh, I, I can't roll if it gets stuck on wow. This may not be like a Ooh. cumsicle or something. Oh, that's a thick word. Cumsicle. Oh. Oh, suck my cumsicle. <gasps> oh. Uh. <laughs> oh, it's every... Oh, I regret it. I fucking regret it. Oh, There's a hint of cum. <laughs> oh. Like the aftertaste says that. Is it a weed oil? No, they don't, a weed lolly. They don't have that in Florida. Anyway, let me get through this. I'd love to make you smile. You made me laugh today when you poured coffee on Michael. I loved your advice on how to stay hydrated. I, I couldn't have died laughing today without you. Today I loved a butt dart video. Because of you, the world is exciting. I love how you make me feel every day, feel extremely amused. I'd love to prank you tomorrow. Today you get the award for comic relief. Okay, thank you very much, Matilda. Oh, lovely. A, That's a fucking little very questionnaire. Well, well thought out little bloody oh, bit here. Oh, she's got special. a magnet that's fucking broken in the mail, Michael. Sorry. Australia Post. Get Let's fucked. And look, she's also sent in some black nail polish. Oh yes, and I put some on the other day. Or oh, my girlfriend did it for me. You read our fucking minds, Matilde. <laughs> <laughs> As promised, we will try and consume everything that you guys um Yeah, hair's hard to swallow, but it's all in my teeth now. I've got like 
Yeah, I flossed. You want to try this? Nah, I, I don't like licking shit that other people have licked. Um, yeah, I don't know what flavor this is, but cum. You reckon? Cum. What was Frozen cum. Have you licked the bottom? No. Oh. <laughs> that was fucked. <laughs> <laughs> That's how Michael gives head <laughs> with a hand movement next to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck this cough. And um, we got one more thing here. Oh yeah, what do we got here? I couldn't read, so I light can't up read. Bu- light up balloons, balloons. Hmm, let's just see what this. Bang! Oh, <laughs> fuck! This changes everything. This one's a bit fucked, but Michael's looks pretty. Wow, you don't even need lights anymore. How come? Oh, it must be a little fucking that is so light pretty. in there. Mine's shit, but that this is so pretty. For those listening who can't see what's going on, it's like a balloon that's like painted all whack, crazy colors, and you pull this tab out and start blowing it up, and it's like lit up from. The, it's like a light on the inside. So it's just simply stunning. It's just beautiful. So thank you. Thank, thank you, you again, so much, Matilda. Matilda. We'll keep this one for a rainy day. Look, we've got a new segment we're going to trial. It has been named... Oh. And it's a segment, a new segment where... Did you shit? Nah. Okay. Maybe. Oh, where wow. we're going to just DM celebrities on Instagram... <clears throat> and then next week we're going to see if they've either seen or replied. Let's go Jonah Hill. Jonah Hill. Pretty sure we messaged him before when we were stoned as fuck. Oh yeah. We have. All right, so this is the previous DM we've sent him. Dude, I just told Seth Rogen that I've killed 12 squirrels and I'm worried he's going to tell the ambulance. Can you tell him to fucking fuck off? Okay. Jeez. That's pretty shit, isn't it? Yeah. That was hilarious to us when we were high. <laughs> yeah, because there was like a whole link up between their whole group. Yeah. yeah, so all those boys that did the movies like This Is The End, that we messaged a whole bunch of them. James Franco, everyone tried to see if it would all link up and they might. Let, let's it. let's just do some random other ones. Let's we just fucked with them hard. Who's a who's like a a celebrity but like not not that famous? Who's that guy um on the Today or the Morning Show? Carl Carl Stefanovic. Yeah, he's not that famous. Okay, good idea. Yep. All right, we're gonna me- Carl Stefanovic. He's for those of you not from Australia, he's a like a morning show TV host. He's pretty famous in Australia. All right, what should we say to him? Hey, mate, uh, just me here. Uh, are we still on for Friday morning? For Friday morning drinks, bring some mints. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's too shit. Okay, and then we'll finish with that. No, it's too <laughs> shit. <laughs> All right, so to Carl Stefanovic. And by the way, once we're verified on Instagram, this, this segment will become a whole lot cooler because it's a lot easier for verified people to see messages from other verified people. But we're not verified yet. So the likelihood of reply is still quite low. But um, hey, you know what? We're having a good time. And that's the main thing. Isn't that right? Yeah, isn't, yeah. It's imagination isn't, isn't coming control, out. Control it. Control it. All right, so hey, mate, just me here. Are we still on for Friday morning drinks? Bring some mints. Nah, it's too shit. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Go with that. Bosley. Uh, all right, uh, next uh, celebrity. Um, Chris Hemsworth. Mate, that Thor movie is so fucking staged. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, as if any of that actually happened. <laughs> All right, so I've said to Chris Hemsworth, mate, that Thor movie is so fucking staged, as if any of that actually happened. All right, and one more, Steve O. Let's write something nice to Steve O. Can you let me up? Okay, can you let me up to Steve O? That's what we've sent to Steve O. He'll get back to us. <laughs> can you let me up? He's gonna think we're downstairs. <laughs> 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 fucking pranked him. <laughs> All right, so that is that uh, segment. Let us know in the comments what you think. 
It's going to be shit until they start replying, but guarantee you that segment is going to pick up steam over the next few months. And in, I predict it in six months time, that segment is going to be a big hit with the teenagers. Well, once we get verified, it will fuck, it'll work every week, really. Hell yeah, my brother. So I'll stick it to the man. All right, last segment. Let me just uh, find... <coughs> prank calls. <laughs> okay, people, when you send us prank ideas, remember you have to send us their name and like a backstory, something that we can fuck with them with. Like, so if they dislike something, tell us. If they like something, if they've just recently done something, booked something, to tell us something that they've done in their life so that we can then go and fuck with them. Okay? All right, so Jordan Riley has written in and said, This is my mum's number. She literally hates people calling her. So I'm thinking this would be a hilarious reaction. She has a daughter. Me, Jordan, a son named Nat, and a and a dog named Massive. How about I'll um I'll pretend to be um <coughs> the RSPCA, and we've had, we'll have had reports that her dog's been getting abused. Hey, hello. Hello, my name's Rebecca Muscle. I just used to call from your number. Oh yes, Rebecca. Hey, I'm calling from the uh, city council. Um, we've just had a few reports from um neighbours in your area about a um dog being abused and um a sort of uh, some mistreatment of 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 some of a dog living at your address. Do you are you aware of anything happening there? Uh, I have a little dog, a little Chihuahua across uh, uh Chihuahua across Jack Russell, and uh, the dog is uh, I'll be honest with you, mate. I went from a queen size bed to a king size bed. That's about the most abuse that dog's ever had. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, so, so Chihuahua across Jack Russell. Yeah, that's what the reports have yeah, said as well. That's the only dog I have here, and it's never been even smacked in its life. Well, the uh, the reports from the neighbours are pretty um, quite detailed, and they, and they do mention a Chihuahua across uh, Jack Russell, and they mention that. Um, there was some pretty extreme yelping and some... Um, Hello, some, are you there? Yeah, can you sorry, hear me? Sorry, my daughter just tried to turn my speaker off and you just jumped out of my phone and went through the speaker. Sorry, could you repeat what you were saying? Yeah, no worries. So we've had some pretty detailed reports from your from your neighbours about a Chihuahua cross, Jack Russell, being uh, abused and, and lots of yelping um, coming from the premises and also lots of yelling from fr- from the adults there. So we sort of have to investigate these sort of claims and, and sort of pass it on to the RSPCA. Um, oh, absol- this is absolutely ridiculous. I, I, I might yell and scream... Uh, uh, to come inside, but the dog has never been, never been smacked. It's never the been ever hurt in any way. What not, a, not even in the slightest. What about your uh, your children? Your neighbours have also mentioned that there are some children there, and they sort of that the children are up at all, all hours of the morning, and uh, there's usually the the children's scream coincides with the dog yelping as well. Under no circumstance, my dog doesn't yelp ever. Number one, and. This has got to be from a different. It's got to be a different address. And number two, how did you get this number? Because this number isn't actually put through the council. This is my father's home. Look, is there any reason why you think that the that the neighbours might be reporting this sort of stuff? Because it's it's just protocol now that we have to investigate, and we will actually be sending a member of RSPCA over to your address just to inspect the dog. Is there any? Do you have any? Are, there, are your neighbor, Is there any issues with your neighbours or anything? Not that I know of, no, not at all. Um, uh, and you're sure, and you're I've sure that never, you're you're ch- sure that your children don't, you know, when when you're out out of the house, maybe they might throw the dog I'm around a, a little I'm bit. I'm a stay at home mum. The kids are never here without me here. Because it says here quite clearly that uh, the the uh, two kids were seen in the front yard, uh, football passing the chihuahua uh, back and forth uh, about five days ago. Uh, my daughter was away for the whole long weekend with her father. And she's a 13-year-old little girl, and my son is 19 and barely leaves the house. So this is a, a, a nuisance report, and I'd like your name. And what department are you in in the council? From, I'm from the Animal Control Department. Um, so- Animal Control. So I'm just it's again just protocol here. So we're just I'm just letting you know that are, are you at home tomorrow at all? I, uh, no, I won't be home until after 12. Right. Well, um, we've got an, uh, someone from the RSPCA booked in to come around. At um, I, I can make it after 12 if you like. Three is three. That'll be fine. Can I have the name of the person that... Uh, 
No, s- made complaints? sorry, we're not allowed to pass that information on. But the, but I can tell you that it is more than one person. So yeah, it's when it's more than one person. This, this now is a slanderous remark, and I'll be contacting my solicitor. I've never hurt an animal in my life, not one. I've got an idiot over the back that has ten dogs in his backyard sometimes, and I tried to make a complaint. No one did anything. Mm-hmm. I've never done anything to that dog. It's treated like a part of the house. It sleeps in my bed with me, and the only time it ever gets yelled at is through fear. Like if it runs out of the house and goes to the goes to the road, I scream at it to stop it from going anywhere. Okay, so but so it's you never do been scream. Treated in any way. Right, so so you do scream at the dog then. I don't scream at the dog. I call to the dog not to go on the road. Rebecca, you but just you just you just it. said that you screamed at it. You just said it. What's your name, please? I'd like to speak to your superior. My name my name is Marty. Martin, and you're from the animal de- control department. The animal control slash st- the, it's called the Stephen Hawking department now. And your superior, if I could possibly speak to him now. Yeah, my superior is called um, Michael. Would you like me to put him on? Oh, I thought your name was Martin, sorry. No, Michael. So my name's Martin, my superior is called Michael. Michael, and yes, I would love to speak to him, please. Oh, well, he's just having a shit at the moment. He should be back in about five minutes. So he's having a, sorry, a what? He's just gone to run off to the bathroom. And how was my number gotten? Look, Rebecca, I'm going to level with you. Yeah. This is a prank call. Your son, Your son. Your son. Are you fucking kidding me, mate? <laughs> one, of, one of your, one of your. This is for uh, the Marty and Michael podcast. One of your. Uh, oh my god! I'm about to fucking lose it again, mate. I'm telling you, this is absolutely ridiculous. I, tra- I dressed that dog up in clothes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of my fucking dog. <laughs> One of your oh. kids has sent in your number and mentioned that you have a dog, so we just thought we'd 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 roll you up a bit. <laughs> my kids laughing at me in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> this is, you're dead. You're dead. Oh my god, that was so <laughs> good. Oh, oh, that was very good. Not funny. <laughs> I would go and knock on doors in a minute. Oh, we should have let you. Oh, oh that God. was very good. Very good. Well, it was not very good. <laughs> <laughs> you put my phone number into somebody to get me prank calls. You're a dead kid. I'm returning all those clothes from today. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Rebecca, well, thank you very much for, uh, for playing along. Sorry to get your heart rate up. How bad? Oh, my God. Thank you. Okay. No worries. Have a good day. Thank you, kids, for us. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. What did you do? Dude, she was such a good sport about it. I was like, once I heard solicitor, I was like, shit, we're going to get in trouble. Oh. Oh man, these these are gonna. I'm feeling these prank calls. If we get a little bit more organised, we can get these prank calls. We can start making them fucking awesome. Yeah, wow, this is way better than Domino's. Yeah, oh. yeah that was good. All right, guys, so keep sending in your prank calls. All right, send them in, but don't forget to write a bit of a description about something that names, person dislikes. Addresses, anything. Yeah, names. Your name, the person submitting it, and just a few more details. Okay, a bit more detail. Don't just send us a number and say, "Oh, this person hates being called," because then. You know, there's, there's nothing to really go with. Yeah. Yet. Anyway, guys, that's the end of episode number four. Uh, thanks for listening, and don't forget the website. Jump on there, register. Link in the description, and we'll, we'll fucking get it done. We're still, sorted. it's upstairs west. Head we're west. still the best. We're still the best. No, we're getting we're 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 getting better. I don't know. We're we're all right. We're top blokes. We're top blokes. We're top blokes. We're top blokes. Nah, nah. Alright. Fuck it. <laughs>